Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris. Today we're highlighting the opening day weekend, 723 to 726, and we're highlighting things that happened that will be different in a 60 game schedule. Here's an example Bryce Harper's first hit was a bunt down third. Saw a lot of sacrificing, a lot of moving runners over, a lot of small ball going on in different style play. It's just 60 games, so you have to do what you have to do. Here's the first game of the season Garrett Cole just dominating Washington and beating Max Scherzer, Jacob deGrom. You know he's going to be throwing the heat. I mean, he was already mid-season form against Atlanta. And then on the other side of the coin during that game for Atlanta, Mike Soroka, he pitched a fantastic, so it was an absolutely great pitching performance. And mainly what we're trying to highlight here in this video is you have to have starting pitching to put yourself in position to win. Quality starts, put your team in position so your bullpen can take over and win. But later on in this video, we're going to show you how some of the bullpens just blew it for these teams. Uh, Shane Bieber, absolutely dominated KC with 14 Ks. It's just a fantastic pitching performance. Kyle Hendricks, a complete game three hit shutout against Milwaukee. That's extremely surprising. Milwaukee's a good hitting team. Lance Lynn for Texas looking fantastic. And again, there's a lot of pitchers we could have additionally added to the highlight from this weekend, opening day weekend, but we didn't want to show everyone. We just want to, you know, highlight a handful of these pitchers and how they put their team in position to win. And then Washington, Patrick Corbin pitched very good against New York to give his team a chance to win. And then moving on over to Tyler Chatwood. Cubs had really good pitching performance this weekend, opening day weekend for them. So that's a positive sign for the Cubs. And then the team that had the performance of the weekend was Cincinnati. Their three starters were just fantastic. Gray, Castillo, and then, of course, the professor, Trevor Bauer. They were just incredible putting their team in the position to win, but unfortunately, the bullpen for Cincinnati did not help them, and they lost some games because their bullpen just wasn't there for their starters to help them win the game. Now, a chink in the armor for Houston Astros, Verlander's injured, and their bullpen blew a game for them, so I'm wondering if this is the team of the past or this is the new Houston Astros. We're going to have to wait to see how it pans out, but let's go into the bullpens that failed. Now, these bullpens could have been, the teams could have been ahead, or they're holding a game, or many different cases but here's an example st louis was up by one and then they ended up crushing a two-run homer against the bullpen pushing themselves ahead uh here seattle filled uh in some cases you're going to have fielding setting up situations where the bullpen can't hold on to it and then one of the big ones is anaheim giving up a grand slam in the 10th inning just crushed grand slam their bullpen just caved in during that 10th inning now here's an example where Minnesota was down by three, still trying to keep the game close for their team to come back, and their bullpen just gave up a ton of runs. And then with Pittsburgh, it was an example of some fielding errors and their bullpen not keeping the game close so their offense can come back. Uh, this was a pattern with a lot of teams. Here it is, down by two, and their bullpen just couldn't hold on to give them a chance. Toronto, just bad pitching all around. This was a late inning comeback. Miami bullpen filled. Um, against Philadelphia, they were down by two. But, you know, when you get a three-run blast against your bullpen, it kind of puts a lot of pressure on the offense. Even the Mets, uh, during a tight game in Atlanta and extra innings, they gave it up. Toronto bullpen failed. Um, that was a combination of just bad fielding and pitching. Here it is again. Tight play at first base. Look at that. Hand barely gets in there. And then Houston, their bullpen failed too. It just was something that I was taking note of. I've been saying this all year long. Bullpens, bullpens, bullpens. If you don't have a bullpen, you're not going to make it through the 60 games. And here's the LA Dodgers, actually a good bullpen giving it up. Thank you for watching Baseball News Club. Have yourself a great day.